What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more entitled parent stories for you which you're gonna love. Entitled GameStop mother slash manager tries to prevent me from buying a game. This is a few years old, but I figured it could use a place here so everyone can marvel at this woman's sense of entitlement. This was back in 2013 when GTA 5 just came out and I was about 14 at the time. So my dad had to accompany me to the GameStop to purchase it. After finding two copies of GTA off the large table they had set up in the back, myself and my father got in the long line to pay for our items and I hand mine to my dad. We spend about 30 minutes in line each excited to get home and play and finally we reach the till where the entitled mum is running one of the registers hi just that for you today yes my dad goes to pull out his car to pay as i stand there the entitled mum looks towards me and down at the two identical games getting a weird toothy grimace on her face you aren't buying that for your son are you um i'm purchasing both of these games and they will be on debit the entitled mum goes to take both games off the counter putting them behind her i'm sorry we don't sell to youth and your son is 10 years old i would never buy such a game for my child how dare you corrupt his childhood like that i'm actually 14 but I'm, of course, cut off by our entitled mum here. Sweetie, quiet. The grown-ups are talking. At this point, the other cashier has stopped ringing up and several people are turning over to look. I am purchasing both these games and I'm an adult. Whatever game I choose to give to my child at home is my own business. No, I would never buy such a game for my son and I won't sell it to you. Neither will my cashiers. You are causing a scene. Please leave. My dad kind of just blinks at this lady's idiocy. Mom, the only one making a scene here is you. I just wish to purchase a few video games. Not here you won't. I'm calling the police right now since you're trespassing. At this point, the entire store is kind of in a bit of shock over what just went down. This woman had just been yelling the whole time. As we get to the door, some guy in a dress shirt and tie comes out from the back and quickly walks over to us as we are leaving. This was the nice manager. Sir, please would you wait just one moment. One of the cashiers just told me what happened and I checked the camera. I am terribly sorry. We wait by the door as he goes up to the counter and starts laying into the entitled mum verbally. EM, we talked about this. You can't be confronting customers. You can only deny sales to minors, of which this gentleman isn't. He is buying that game for a minor. And that is his own right as an adult. We don't enforce parenting choices here. Now, this was explained to you when you transferred. Well, it's too late. I've officially warned him for trespassing and the police are on their way. Now, the manager kind of just gets this bewildered face. You called the police on a customer trying to buy a game? The nice manager at this time took the entitled mum's ID and key lanyard off her neck and told her to go wait in the back. He called us back to the counter and rung up one of the games at a heavily discounted price, giving us one free and apologized profusely again, explaining that this manager had been warned before for this and that he will deal with the police when they arrive and not to worry. We left and in the next few months, we never saw the entitled mum there again. I can only assume assume she was transferred or fired. Yeah, I'm gonna go with she was probably fired. That kind of behavior can get them sued and I reckon they'd rather let her go than risk that. I love how as an employee of the company, this woman says, no, I'm not letting you buy any items from our store. That's just so funny. Moving on to our second story. My soon-to-be mother-in-law is an entitled parent. Yes, it's true. I don't know how an amazing guy has the most entitled mother ever. Four years ago, I met Nick at a cafe and two years later we started dating the year of dating he proposed on valentine's day now his mother doesn't like me mostly because i'm not religious and i do my own thing even though nick left religion before he met me she blames me for bringing lucifer into his life we're having a gothic graveyard wedding on halloween mostly our wedding of our dreams we love halloween and old graveyards we asked and as long as we don't disrespect graves or anything we are allowed to have a wedding there well that sounds like a pretty cool wedding not usual but pretty cool the wedding planner did an amazing job with everything including finding a new reception venue when the other one cancelled and we might be going to court for that one we sent out invites to everyone including his mother this is the text i received why aren't you getting married in a church that's my dream for my son because we're not religious and the graveyard wedding was his idea so i'm going to look horrible because my son is marrying a demon girl future mother-in-law i'm sorry you feel that way it's our day so please put your differences aside for your son and come to the wedding but everything went downhill the wedding planner called me and asked if i can change my flowers to real ones and have my theme changed what had happened is my future mother-in-law had literally got hold of the wedding planner and told her that i wanted a traditional wedding
building now and to find the church. Thankfully, I clear it up and made a password to check that my entitled future mother-in-law can't do more damage. She told everyone that she's the groom's mother and it's her day. Can you please stop ruining your son's wedding? We worked very hard to have this day. Look, if you can't stop, you will not be invited. Nick is very stressed out because of you and it's not fair. It's my day, not his. You are a demon girl ruining his life. He shouldn't have even asked you to marry him. Uh, I might make a part two to this. She's literally very entitled. Well, yeah, that is pretty obvious to me. I would love to see a part two. I would really want to know what would happen if she actually went to the wedding. Just how much she hated it. That would be great to hear about. Moving on to our final story. Is that an injury I see on your arm? For some background, my brother, who is eight years old, was visiting one of his friends, who is eight as well, whose mother is our entitled parent. I took him there one morning wearing a hoodie and... And when I was to take him back, I had just a short sleeve t-shirt on. I had an accident on my bike, a bicycle, a few weeks ago, and it's not that long that there was a wound on my left arm that got a little bit healed. As I was at the entitled mother's house to pick up my brother, I was asked by my brother's friend about my hand. How did that happen to you? It's a bit of a long story, but I fell off my bike on a rocky path. Oh, and are you okay now? Well, it still hurts a little, but it's fine. Thanks for caring. The entitled mum now came to the front door. What have you been saying to my kid? Hello, he just asked me about my injury. Injury? Where? His left arm. He fell off a bike. Really? Yes. The entitled mum grabbed me by my left hand, perfectly on the injury and pulled. Ow, easy. What are you doing? I took a look, and since I got binding down just the day before and had these butterfly-like plasters to help with the wound staying closed, after the the pressure of her hitting it and the stitches were put out the wound started to bleed nothing bad though that's not from a bike incident it's from self-damaging sure lady cutting yourself leaves the same injury as falling at 35 kilometers an hour on a rocky path yes lady i damaged myself by attempting to damage my stuff and putting myself in extensive care unit while i'm at it look i'm not a biologist but a wound from a knife cut looks a bit different than a wound from smashing your arm onto a rocky path what the f is that your blood is staining me perhaps Perhaps if you didn't put it like that. The entitled mum tightened her grip and pulled me closer. My brother's friend, her son, said, leave him alone, mum. He didn't do anything. No, sweetie. He's setting such a bad example. Lady, please let me go. It hurts and I don't think you want to cause a more serious injury. The entitled mum tightened her grip again. Listen here, you little. Side note, I carry a stiletto switchblade in my pocket most of the time, excluding school or other public buildings. Just so you know, in many countries, carrying knives is illegal but before you scold me about doing illegal stuff, I'm from the Czech Republic and as far as I know, it's not illegal here. I pulled out the stiletto, which made her back up a little, but still her grip hurt a lot. See, you even carry that thing around. It's called self-defense. Now let me go. I'm calling the police. You'll get arrested for assault. She finally loosened her grip, but still held me. My friend and my brother came back with some bandages. Surprisingly, the entitled mum actually let me bandage my arm. Stay here. The police are coming. After a while the police actually arrived the first police officer said to the entitled mum so what actually happened he assaulted me with a knife the second officer sees my arm in a bandage with a blood stain on the entitled mum's hand but no wound and several drips on the ground says may i see the knife please yeah sure i hand him over a perfectly clean blade have you cleaned it since we were called no sir why did you pull out a knife on this lady well it was self-defense she grabbed me by the injury on my arm to the point where it started to bleed. Could we see the arm, please? I put down the bandage. Mom, if he assaulted you, why does he have a perfectly clean knife? There's blood, an open injury, and bruises on his arm, while you seem perfectly fine. Uh, he cleaned it? I don't think you can perfectly clean blood from a blade to make it look like it was just unpacked with a t-shirt or toilet paper. He's also damaging himself. Mom, that's a serious issue, but not a crime. Is it true, young man? No, I've got the injury from a bike accident mom can i please take a sample of the blood on your hand why so we can see whose blood it is it will help us with the investigation the entitled mom reluctantly lets the police officer take a sample she was then asked to wash her hand the entitled mom washed her hands and what was that perfectly uninjured hands so mom you don't seem to be injured but the young man here has an open wound and several bruises i don't think he assaulted you now i knew that my brother was and is raised to no matter what always tell the truth so i said why don't the kids tell their story my brother said the lady grabbed op first so he took out his knife my brother's friend didn't say anything but i don't blame him mom and young man you both need to come with us 
At the police station, we both gave our sides of the story. I had to give the blade in as evidence and the blood was tested. No traces of blood or anything else was found on the blade and blood from the entitled mum's hand was found to be mine. All they had to do was determine the blood group, so no need for a DNA test here. My family was asked about pressing charges, but since we knew the state is already pressing charges, we declined. But we will have to go in as a witness when the state charges her for assault of a minor, injury, and lying to the authorities. And yes, my stiletto is safe back in my pocket i will try to keep you updated well i for one would love to know what happens in court well hey man thanks a lot for the story and i'm sorry about your injury and the fact that the entitled mum made it worse but i hope it gets better with time anyway that is going to be the end of this video i really hope you guys have enjoyed if you did like subscribe and click the video on screen for more reddit content other than that i'll be here same place same time tomorrow and i look forward to seeing you all